Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here with Seth Appleby, one of our landscape technicians. And I need to take a few minutes and tell you about an incident that happened on Tuesday involving the crew Seth was on and some work zones set up. But we narrowly missed uh, not having Seth here to tell the story, and otherwise it could have been a, a very different situation. But to emphasize on the severity of it, I'm going to have Seth tell you exactly what happened. So hopefully we can, uh, as you'll find out, we couldn't have prevented this 100% from happening, but there's a few things that Seth did uh, that kept him alive. So what happened? So it was the end of the day, and uh, we were wrapping everything up on our job site. We had our safety set up out, and it looked like this. Uh, your work we, zone. You had your work zone. We had our work zone out, and we were taking our cones down at the end of the day. My two foremen were talking to the homeowner on the other side of the house. We were along a township road, double white line. We were well off the road, accurate safety setup. And as I was taking the cones down, one by one, I got to the back of our dump truck. And by the time I got to the back, I was picking up our, our last couple cones, and as I picked up the cone sort of at the, the back of the trailer, I looked up, and coming towards me was a driver under the influence, and uh, as I talked to Aaron after, if I would have picked up the cones, you know, not facing the line of traffic, I wouldn't have had any chance of getting out, out of the way, but luckily since I saw him, I was able to dive into the mulch bed, and escape getting hit by a vehicle. So, Ethan, why don't you stand right here. So if we pretend this, if we pretend this is the back of the truck, you're parked on the, the side of the road uh, with the flow traffic. So if you would have been picking up cones from back there, going this way, the back would have been the traffic, and you can't see what's coming. You can't see that lane closest to you. So. Luckily, or just out of common sense, because Seth's a smart guy, <laughs> he was picking up cones facing traffic, which is what we all should do, and he was able to see the driver veer off out of his lane, and then I'm going to throw this picture onto the end of the video, but you'll see what happened. The driver struck the back of the truck, possibly totaling one of our landscape trucks, and then his vehicle rolled out onto the road. Uh, so the big takeaways in the meeting I had with our landscape uh, managers was simply you know there's times where we need traffic control and times that we don't need it if people have to cross the center line to get around your work zone technically we should have a flagger or you need to do something different to make sure they don't have to get out of their lane to go around you now that varies work site to work site whether it's a state road township road it varies a lot but the big takeaway, two big takeaways, make sure you can get off the road as much as you safely can without obviously destroying uh, property or anything like that and give yourself enough room to work. Uh, obviously set up a basic work zone like we do with cones, uh, transition zone, transition cones and then straight line along the truck. And when, you, when you're putting cones out and when you're cleaning them up, never turn your back on track. I see so many flaggers for other companies, Flagger Force, uh, Penline, Aspen, all those big crews that are out along the road that have their back towards traffic. And I don't have to be the one to tell you that you probably have used cell phone, text, sent an email, answered a call, uh, or like this gentleman, have been under the influence of something going down the road. And it doesn't always end well. And for that guy, it didn't, and it could have ended terribly if Seth wouldn't have been a cat on his feet and uh, facing traffic when when this all happens. So I appreciate you're still here and that you thought quick. And uh, yeah, hopefully everybody can learn something from this. Uh, and that's it. Just need to tell a story. So have a good Friday. I'll see you later. Thanks, Seth.